Most people know that tanning can potentially lead to skin cancer and premature aging, but another route to bronze skin can be found in a tube of sunless tanner. Most of these products have the same active ingredient, dihydroxyacetone, or DHA. DHA is a simple three-carbon sugar. It's a natural product formed by the body, but bacteria called Acetobacter suboxidans usually produce the DHA used in self-tanners. It's the only FDA-approved sunless tanning ingredient, though there are some concerns about inhalation or ingestion of DHA in spray tanning booths. In other words, don't inhale DHA or get it on your lips or eyes. Also, most sunless tanners don't contain sunscreen, so if you're outdoors, you still need to apply sunscreen to protect yourself from UV rays. DHA's browning effects were discovered by accident in the mid-1950s by researcher Eva Wittgenstein at the Children's Hospital at the University of Cincinnati. She was studying the effect of DHA in treating children that had metabolic disorders, which affect their ability to convert food into energy. Sometimes the patients spit up some of this sweet concentrated material, and it splashed on their skin. A few hours later, the kids had brown spots on their skin where stray splashes hadn't been wiped off. Curious, Ava prepared solutions of DHA and was able to reproduce the pigmentation on her own skin, no spitting up necessary. She was able to turn her skin brown, but how? The answer lies in the Maillard reaction, perhaps known best to food chemists. In this process, amino acids interact with sugars to create brown or golden brown compounds. This type of interaction is the cause of much of the brown color changes that occur when you toast bread or grill meat. It also makes beer golden brown. Here's how the browning happens in self-tanners. Proteins in your skin have a very high content of certain amino acids. DHA reacts with these amino acids to produce pigments that resemble an artificial brown or golden tan. These pigments are called melanoidins. Melanoidins are compounds that are linked to the proteins of the stratum corneum, which is the outermost dead layer of human skin. Everybody sheds dead skin cells all the time, so the fake bake you get from sunless tanner wears off in a few days. Sunless tanners have come a long way in recent years. Originally known for their unnaturally orange results, today's products give a more natural looking brown or golden hue. So if you yearn for bronze skin, your next tan can be made in the shade.